is if it is true that Paul was under a FISA warrant prior to coming under the campaign, then I think the FBI should have probably notified the campaign and said, look, you've got a person here who is currently under surveillance, and we want to raise that issue to you so you're aware of it. Never was I contacted, never was the president or the candidate contacted about any relationship that Paul Manafort might have had by a government authority. So he came on to the campaign in a very limited capacity to help us find delegates, work through the convention, and then he left the campaign, was fired in August. Yeah, but right. Corey, is that the kind of thing the feds do where they, tell, you know, they would tell somebody, hey, by the way, the guy you just hired, uh, we're looking at him because we think he might be breaking the law? Well, I don't know, but what I do know is if you are the uh, Republican or Democratic nominee for a major political party running for president of the United States, and there is a person who is joining the campaign in a high-profile capacity, and that person happens to be under some type of surveillance by mm -hmm. the FBI right. for potential wrongdoings, you would think that just from a security standpoint, they would come and brief the campaign and say, look, yeah. we've got some concerns about this person. You're still welcome to hire them, but at least right. we'd make you aware of it. So that never occurred. But the